Florida Surgeon General Dr. Joseph Ledapo, well, made claims on Thursday that masks didn't save lives during the COVID-19 pandemic and criticized doctors who recommended or mandated wearing masks. Watch this. And it's still happening where people are still holding up the illusion that these things save lives. These things are not saving lives. What saves lives, frankly, is freedom to speak and freedom to find truth. What saves lives is immunity. You know? Yeah. Immunity, that's cute. Uh, anyway, so essentially following that statement, Ladapa went on to criticize the US Centers for Disease Control and Prevention for using what he called lower quality studies for its data. He then inferred doctors and other researchers who found the usefulness of masks must have been taken over by zombies or something. Ladapo didn't endorse or mention vaccines when he then spoke of what saves lives during the pandemic. Interestingly enough, as we're seeing Ladapo attack mass just after Ron DeSantis, the governor there in Florida, told those young people during that press conference to essentially take off their masks. So we can assume this is a nice little PR angle. But in terms of the reliable research, so Ladapo claims that studies have found no benefit to mass, that they've been essentially proven wrong in repeated studies, including ones by the CDC, proceedings of the National Academy of Sciences of the United States, Stanford University, Yale, University of Cincinnati, British Medical Journey, University of Central Florida, so on and so forth. Apparently, they're the ones who got it wrong and Ladapo knows it all. Well, members of the Committee to Protect Healthcare took aim at what they called disinformation from the Florida Surgeon General. Governor Ron DeSantis and his administration continue to wage an unnecessary war on information that can save lives. And every Floridian should be deeply concerned about the governor's refusal to protect health by applying evidence-based medicine. The goal of every physician should be to protect the lay public from life-threatening coronavirus infection by providing them with accurate, reliable information and encouraging everyone to do the same. All physicians should obey the Hippocratic Oath to do no harm said by Dr. Frederick Southwick, a Gainesville infectious disease specialist. Now, Ladapo has also previously refused to wear a mask in October while meeting with a Florida Democratic lawmaker who had been diagnosed with breast cancer. Essentially saying that he didn't consider speaking with a mask on to be quote unquote productive. Kyla, what do you think is most productive? Honestly, it's, it's baffling to me. Um, that I have to like speak about stupid people <laughs> because we have over a hundred thousand cases per day in the United States. On daily, Florida, um, 176 Floridians are dying from COVID each and every day, and they have the nerve to say that masks don't work or they're not effective. And honestly, I'm not surprised that this gentleman is coming out saying these type of things when the Florida's own governor is chastising and intimidating children for wearing their masks protecting themselves and their families. Highly disappointing to see that after two years of being in this pandemic that we still have elected leaders acting this way. Yes, it's because of people like Ladapo and Governor Ron DeSantis, for the reason that our nation is so fractured. The fact is we have these disinformation, misinformation campaigns going on and we've seen so many people die unnecessarily and needlessly. And to say that masks play no role, get out of here. I can anecdotally speak from my own experience that I haven't even gotten the common cold during this entire pandemic. In part, not only just because you know I keep my distance from most people now, but also I wear a mask when I engage and encounter people. It's like you can't tell me just by virtue of the fact that people aren't as out here slobbering their nastiness because it's blocked by a mask that it's not in any way beneficial for our society amidst a pandemic. But I guess when it comes to Florida, it's a whole different set of rules for their leadership there. And as a result, we should all be the ones following it. Any final words, Kyla? Um, just that the conservative contradictions of people like Ron DeSantis and other anti-vaxxers really show us who they are and what they believe, which is absolutely nothing. The whole anti-vax movement was about freedom of choice, quote unquote. That's ironic in itself, in it of itself. But um, I just don't understand that DeSantis would use again use his position to continue to push out misinformation that again results in people losing their lives.
yeah, very well said.